Whew, it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. This is the day after the election. People are, <laughs> are hungover from all the attack ads and everything that's going on. Um, my new computer came today, so I can make videos again. My old computer pretty much crapped out, and I couldn't make videos, and it was freezing up and locking up whenever I tried to use the QuickTime player and make videos. And Anyway, so now I have a new uh, computer. Thanks to the fully freaking fantastic funding Fandango, which I'm doing for the Pretender Ramon's House of Math. I'll talk about that at the end of the video if you want to know about that. But there's a link down there. If you'd share that, I'd appreciate it a lot. I want to teach math. I want to teach more people math. And I can assure you that if money came my way, I will put people to work um, and pay them. Right now, it pays me. But I want to be able to build a team. And we need to be able to make apps. And we need to be able to make all kinds of you know games. And there needs to be more videos. And there needs to be better website. And there needs to be lots and lots of stuff. There needs to be more stuff. And it just takes some money. And it, money and time is what it takes. Right now, the more time, the less money I have, the more time it takes. The more money I have, the less time it will take. It's simple as that. I'm in year three of a 10-year plan. Things are going well. But if you don't want to wait for a long time, and you're one of those people that, why don't you have more apps? Why don't you have more of this and that? Well, donate some money, and you'll see what happens. I'm not worried about my kids, because my kids will learn math. But your kids, on the other hand. Anyhow, there's that. Um, and Obama pulls it out. I was very, very concerned. I must say, I was very concerned that uh, Romney was going to steal this thing like the way Bush did it because, you know, Rove and all these same players trying to rig Ohio and Florida. It looks like they tried and they failed this time. It looks like the Obama people were clever enough to see it coming and were able to, to do some counterattack. Um... But that whole thing about how they were trying to sell you on all these different pundits telling you that, oh, they're calling it for Romney, and oh, he's rocketing in the polls, and oh, and on and on and on about how, you know, Romney's more popular than all these disgruntled Obama people, and oh, look at Benghazi, and look at all these people that are angry about uh, Katrina, and look at blah, 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 blah. Nope. Because the math was pretty simple. The math was there's a hell of a lot more Democrats than there are Republicans, first off. Lots more independents. The Republican Party was divided. With the Ron Paul people basically said, screw you, we're not voting for him. Especially after the way you treated us and the way you treated the, the uh, you know, delegates and all the cheating and so forth. 25 grand juries are in convened right now as we speak. 25 of them for wrongdoing, for fraud, for all that stuff, right? And support that. Put, hold, those, hold those people accountable. And hopefully we're going to get some convictions out of that. And a lot of these Republican guys are going down. 25 grand juries are convened as we speak. And there's probably going to be some more. As we investigate and see they know that right it's the day after the uh, election and we still haven't even got done with the investigation and, and gathering all the information and go going to court and so forth they know that the wheels of justice to turn slowly so a lot of these guys are finding out that they were the sacrificial lambs for the big guys the the uh, you know the pawns that were playing the game and, and you know doing the soldier work and 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 basically playing dirty are going to be held to account because the Ron Paul people are not like the Democrats, where we just look the way they just look the other way. They're pissed off, and they're going to hold hold them to account. Um, quick story: Iceland. How about Iceland? Hear anything about Iceland? Iceland's doing pretty well. Hmm. We put the guy back in though that says that our bankers didn't do anything wrong. Put the guy in back in that says they deserve more bailouts. They should be paid back a hundred cents on the dollar for their fraud. We put that guy back in. Uh, you know who else we put back? We, the same guy that, that signed the NDAA and the Patriot Act. The same, same guy that, that uh, gave you more war, not less war, that didn't close Gitmo. The guy that's looking at uh, starting a war with Iran. That's the guy we put in. And for you poets and, and, and musicians and artists to think, uh, be compelled to vote for that guy, you know how dark it is? You know how dark it is when, when what we get is the illusion of choice when we get these two guys that are just atrocious and you feel compelled to vote for the quote-unquote lesser of two evils how's that been working out for this country for the last 50 years this is where we are now where we are is debt slaves uh warmongering where we're killing children where we have presidents that have kill lists that, that send drones and they know the collateral damage is babies and it doesn't matter and you guys support that where we have corporations that are calling themselves people and they say they have the same rights as people and that they can force you to contract with them and call it health care. And it, <laughs> I mean, the list just goes on and on. It's, it's insanity what's happening. And, you know, being telling you that or telling me that if I don't contract with this insurance company, well, it's I can't force you because it's they figured that out that they really can't force me to sign a document. But they can then, of course, tax me if I choose not to contract. Really? So they're going to tax me for inaction? You support that. 
the guy that that uh, a Monsanto lawyer he put that guy in as head of the FDA. The guy that's supposed to regulate guys like Monsanto and other agribusinesses was a Monsanto lawyer that that Obama appointed. And yet you guys in California are all for Proposition 37, and yet you voted for Obama too. That's called cognitive dissonance. Cog the same cognitive dissonance that where people try to assuage their conscience with social issues and gay marriage and birth control when we've got a warmonger that's killing children in other countries and actually killing Americans in other countries. Not one, not two, but three. And one of them was a child, an American 16-year-old child killed with a drone. And you guys look the other way. Look the other way when we have the troop surge. When he said he was going to bring the troops home, actually he, he sent more. Right, the one guy that wanted peace, the one guy that wanted mutual respect, not mutual, mutually assured destruction, that was the crazy guy. That was the guy that was unelectable. The guy that could fill stadiums, even afterwards he was filling stadiums. Romney couldn't put 2,000 guys in a room. And Ron Paul puts, in Utah, puts, just to rub it in his face, puts, uh, you know, fills another stadium. And then we got these Democrats, they don't even know that Ron Paul was filling stadiums because all they get their news from is see it contains no news or nothing but crap, NBC or CBS, it's right in the name there, or Fox News, right? <laughs> They're not talking about Ron Paul, right? The Campaign for Liberty, we, okay, so here's the thing, how we, we do this. Fully informed juries need to be, you, FIJA, you need to educate your friends about FIJA because they're going to come down in Colorado and they're going to come down in Washington State. Make no mistake. And this is vaguely racist of you Democrats to say that Obama can't do anything about it because it's federal law. Well, I'll tell you what, it's federal law that we don't torture either. And yet he came down hard on those of us that were trying to hold the Bush administration to account and called off the dogs and made it so that we could not go after the torturers. But yet he can't call off the dogs when it comes to the, the DEA raiding pot clinics. He can't call off the dogs when it comes to FDA with guns raiding Amish farmers and, and, and raw food places in California. He can't call those guys off. But he can call off the dogs when it comes to, you know, Fast and Furious investigations or when it comes to, uh, you know, torture investigations or when it comes, but, he, but he's, he's powerless to stop the DEA from raiding pot clinics. That's cognitive dissonance right there. Same thing when you have, uh, you, all, like I said, all you people that were for, for Proposition 37 and yet you're for Obama who put the uh, Monsanto lawyer in to head up the FDA. That's cognitive dissonance. Where you guys say you're for, for peace, you poets and musicians and artists out there. You're for peace, but we've got a president with a peace prize that's using drones to kill babies. And we know they're killing babies. We know they're killing children. We know the children get in the way. And they use them anyway. Where their first act is war, not diplomacy. But you're, it, but oh, I don't agree with that. I got a friend that we go around and around. I don't agree with you know killing babies, and I don't agree with war, and I don't like Monsanto, and I think the GMO thing is terrible, and I don't agree with with all of this Gitmo, and I don't agree with holding Bradley Manning, and I think it's terrible that they do that they have the whistleblowers. You know, using the Espionage Act more than anybody else, and, and you know, the whistleblower that told you about torture is actually going to jail, whereas the torturers are walking free. You don't agree with any of that, but you voted for him. You put him back in office. All right, silence agrees, but even worse than that, if you vote for the guy, you really agree. What you're basically saying is you agree. And if you talk about, oh, it's the social issues in the Supreme Court, you're, you guys are just ridiculous. Same thing. Romney would be no different. So anything I just said about Obama applies to Romney because it was the same guy. He was just going to be the same guy in Republican form. Same exact animal. It is so dark in the United States right now. You guys have no idea what's coming to you. And it turns out, sounds like that it wasn't. I thought it was just a you know urban legend and so forth. It sounds like there are some uh, FEMA camps that are just sitting there waiting for looters to be put in them, according to Bloomberg. And that that wasn't just some story, that they're actually, you know, he was saying that they're zero tolerance looter policy. And speaking of that, Sandy, really, you guys had four days and you, and you couldn't, no, I live in Hawaii where we have hurricanes. Look, this is solar powered. You just plug it in and uh, it's got a little crank on top where you can crank it. Crank it for a minute, you get an hour's worth of light. Oh, look, it's a light. Oh, look, it's a, a beacon for one. Okay, right? Oh, here's a little solar panel right here. Uh, you stick it in the sun because the sun's already on fire and see it's a little solar panel and uh, it's got a charger 
know, stuff that you can stick in like a car charger, but you know, for this. And then it's also got, if you have uh, one of these things, so you want to charge your cell phones or, you know, small devices, you just plug it right in there. And you can plug it into this battery right here, or you can plug it into this because it has a battery and then you can use this to charge. And these are uh, Goal Zero is the, the company there. Anyway, good bang for the buck. How about some canned goods? I don't. I should have got some water filters out. But how about some water filters? You know, the filter water is important, guys. <laughs> right? As you're finding out, we got Anheuser Busch putting water in cans because you guys didn't can't even get water for yourselves. So if you can't get water, then you can't cook because you can't you can't even make ramen, <laughs> right? Oh my goodness! Prepare. Have some preparedness. We're supposed to be Americans. Last I heard, well, that's the way I grew up, but apparently that's not how it is. Everybody wants a free phone and free gas and a, and a, and a card where they can go get food. But uh, last I heard, my grandma always told me, you want to help the poor, don't be one of them. You, right? Be ready for what comes. Right? Have some food stored up. Learn how to grow some food in your garden. Always had gardens. Always had gardens. They grew up during the Depression and during the war. World War II, that war, right? Because we've all grown up during war. It's all war all the time in the United States. But the uh, uh, garden concept, being able to grow food, there's actually a trick to it. And being able to put, you know, a lot of people, they've lost, there's great websites though, but they've lost the ability to can food because you don't remember how. Nobody passed the knowledge down to you. So you can't even can food. You can't store up food. Because if you find out, if you grow a garden, you're going to have more than you know what to do with. Even just a small piece of land would give you more potatoes and vegetables than you know what to do with. You know, cucumbers and all those. So you got to learn how to can, learn how to store it. Um, people have stopped doing that. Cut, you got a lawn? Get rid of that lawn. Grow vegetables. And, and see what happens with this, the governments that, that come down on you and tell you, we don't want you growing your own. We don't want you being independent. We want you dependent. But even if you don't believe in that kind of stuff, well, then at least have a few days of food. Because even if, if you believe in the nanny state and the nanny state's going to come and bail you out and save you and that you pay your taxes and, that, you know, this is what you get when the storm comes, great. Um, it takes a few days for the government to get its act together. It takes a few days for even your, your fellow man, because a lot of the stuff that's happening over there now is, is uh, independent groups, which is the way it's supposed to be, uh, helping each other uh, for the disaster relief. And what? Uh... You know, it takes a, a few days for that disaster relief to arrive. So you need to be able to at least hunker down for a few days. And I know, and people are saying, well, what about people that lost all everything? Well, then you need, the other thing is you need a grab and go bag. And your grab and go bag doesn't have to be like the survivalist crazy person grab and go bag with, you know, fishing gear and stuff like that and guns and so on and ammo. Your grab and go bag, could, one for each member of your family where you grab the bag and go, has a towel in it, some food, a water filter, some light, a couple of band-aids you know, a blanket, maybe a jacket that is just always in that bag. And then all you do is just grab it. And then maybe you have another uh, a little suitcase, an old suitcase that you're not using that has some other food in it. And so that you, when it's time to evacuate, like in Hawaii where the tsunami warning comes or wherever you were, where, you know, you have flood warnings and so forth and they were getting you out of there, you throw the stuff in the car and you go. All right, and then maybe you want to take your recipes and your pictures. This is what I always hear from people and that, that lose everything. One, it's liberating. But two is that they miss the re the recipes and the pictures, the childhood pictures and so forth. So you throw that in the, in a grab and go bag. You have that stuff ready and you just toss it. It's not crazy talk. It's not preppers. It's not these are not end of the worlders. Right? It's just common sense. And Americans, last time I checked, were supposed to be resilient, self reliant people. Right? The American way was was part of that was American ingenuity, where we will figure it out. We'll make a way if there isn't one. And self-reliance, you know, over and over again, when, you know, going back to the founding of this nation, where it was, we didn't have a standing army, and we still beat the most powerful empire in the world because the citizens also were armed. And this is the other thing: you need to be armed. You need to understand how to work a gun. Um, it's not, it's not just a good idea. It's your duty as an American. And if you think that the, that the way to be protected is to have it, if we, if everybody was armed the way we were supposed to be armed, we wouldn't need armies. Who's going to come here? Even so, right? Even, even, even with our standing armies, people say they would never try to invade this country because we're armed. <laughs> There'd be a gun behind every blade of grass. Anyway, Obama, it's ridiculous. It's just pain, painfully ridiculous. But the, the uh, Ron Paul people are starting to figure out 
and the liberty people are starting to figure out we got to think long term the way the masters or these supposed masters think where they think you know years and years in advance so obama for four better than romney for eight because we can put up a new candidate in four years and we'll suffer through this it's not going to be great but and, and i as a lame duck i can't even i can't wait to see what he comes up with in the next four years as if ndaa wasn't bad enough and the patriot act and fisa and spying and more war right and and, and indefinite detention and deten and and det detention after a quick i can't wait to see what else this guy comes up with and i can't wait to hear the wonderful excuses the democrats come up with because now he's been in for four and as he goes for four more and this economy just gets worse and then and the bankers get more emboldened because they've got this guy in their hip pocket and they can do whatever the hell they want. They'll foreclose on you with no note. They'll try to reflate the, the market. They're going to fool around with, oh man, the, the, it's amazing what's going to happen. And eventually the, the silver thing, here are here is money. And so you need to educate people about this. This used to be our money. Our money used to be good as gold, good as silver. Our money was actually silver. You could hold it in your hand, no counterparty risk, right? These are the, you know, our coins were 90%. These are the new ones that are 99%, but this is a U.S. mint right here because this is a silver eagle. Uh, you need to educate people about sound money. You need to educate people about the Fed. These two jokers talk for an hour about the economy. Nobody mentions the Fed. This is how you know they're in the hip pockets of the bankers. Didn't even mention the Fed. We have so much work to do, it's ridiculous. So keep in the, the main thing is we got to get paper ballot initiatives. It'd be great if you guys would work for him. That'll be great. I'm going to do, do some agitating for him because, I mean, come on. If Florida, or not Florida, but if Colorado and Washington can do it, Hawaii, come on. Um... Fully informed juries. You need to inform people because that's another thing. You're, now you're going to start seeing the tyranny of the, of the federal government where what we had, the idea was supposed to be a union of independent states, not an all-powerful all federal government that told everybody what to do. That's exactly not what they had in there. And what, we have turned everything up on, upside down on its head. We used to be people that voted for freedom. Now we vote for fascism. <laughs> and, then, and, we, and we justify it with birth control and gay marriage and social issues. Uh, anyhow, I'll make more videos as I'm going long here, but, uh, I'll make more videos faster, closer together. So I don't have to cover so much ground. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all the emails and people wondering what happened to me. Thanks for people saying, Hey, come on, make some kind of video with all the stuff that's going on. Just want to, you know, hear another voice and another, diff uh, another opinion. Um, Again, one quick thing, this is, you can stop watching now because this is going to be a commercial for, for Crouton Ramon's House of Math, but uh, the Fully Fantastic Funding Fandango is uh, in effect until the, uh, January 15th or so because I'm going to kick off 2013 with a huge amount of uh, uh, things are going to be happening there because I have gotten more funding than the Funding Fandango reflects. Um, that's how I got this new computer, that's how I got a, a few other things. Uh, but share that link, tweet it, put it on your social media, Pinterest, whatever you're doing. Just you know, share that link with as many people as you can. If you can't give money, then one thing you can do to help is, because uh, this is striking at the root, in my opinion, is share the link. Just share the link with as many people as you can. Striking at the root, in my opinion, is the math. If more people could do the math, uh, it's backwards on the computer. Anyway, if more people could do the math, you would, you would have pe people understanding that, wait a minute, uh, the, those numbers are lies. How is it that, we, that, that it should only take X amount of dollars to raise everybody out of poverty and we spend five times X and everybody's not out of poverty? How is it possible that we can give the bankers trillions and we should have given the money to the, to the people that, that owed? The bankers would have got their money back and everybody, no, we just gave it, right? Iceland, right? Economics, uh, issues like global warming. Issues like energy, issues like hemp, just economics and dollars and money, they don't want you. And then being able to take a look at the vaccination numbers and statistics and so forth. Again, they don't have any interest in you being educated in mathematics. And they have dumbed you down for, I've been doing this 22 years. I started in 1990 and it has gotten worse, not better. Our SAT scores have gone down. We can, I mean, I can fill volumes now that show that it has gotten worse, not better. And this is by design, not by accident. Americans are not getting stupid. We spend more and more money on education, but we, what we are doing doesn't work and we don't know it doesn't work. 
and we put these teachers who are altruistic, make no mistake, it's not the teachers. I work with teachers all the time, train these teachers. It's not the teachers. It's the system that they have put in place for these teachers that make it impossible for them to get the results that they want. And using systems, anyway, the, the whole, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to circumvent this. I'm not going to try and change the system from the inside out like the Ron Paul people tried to do with the, with the Republican Party. What I'm going to try and do is build you know, build it and they will come. I will build the shining beacon on the hill and people that want to come will come. And people that don't want to come can slather around in the dark and I don't care. But instead of me trying to be a salesman and take it to them, let them come to us. And it's working. People, parents, uh, teachers, other organizations are coming to the website, seeing all the different things that we can do using manipulative, seeing that this method really does work and it's the best thing they've ever seen for teaching mathematics, bar none. And they're, they're amazed. And they want more. So I want to give them more. And the way I give them more, see, we have, like I said earlier in the beginning, is it either takes time or money. More money, less time. Right? More time means I don't have enough money because it's just me. But if I had a group of people that were working, how much more could we get done? That's why I want to raise funds. And what I want to do is build uh, things that are self-supporting. So I'm in this for profit. This is why people, well, why don't you go get grants or loan? Because I'm in it for profit. Because trying to do it, the, 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 that method hasn't been working for anybody. So what we need to be able to do is use capitalism at its best, where we build products that you want more than the dollars in your hand. You hand the dollars over for those products, and your kid you know, learns math. And this is going to be the measure. Because if the products don't teach math, then you won't buy them. But when you see how easy and fun it is, when it, I mean, fun, math, fun, that, that your kids don't have to suffer like you did, that, you, that they can actually learn huge amounts of math by the time they're seven or eight years old, right? I mean, the, the, the second graders that I'm teaching are doing the same stuff that college kids are doing. And I know this because there's aides in the class that are like, wait a minute, this is the same stuff that we're doing in our, in our college algebra class. Because math is a language and it's easy. Okay, so the idea is that if, you, if we are teaching math and it's fun and enjoyable and you can spread the word and people can see that the people will come. Simple as that. And then they'll buy products and they'll buy stuff that's appropriate for their children. And what we need to be able to do is make sure that those products are reasonably priced, easy to get, you know how to use them. So we have lots and lots of videos and I have you know videos that are better quality and so forth. And uh, anyway, and then everyone prospers and, and we have more people that can become engineers if they want to become engineers, but if they want to become poets or musicians, they become poets and musicians, not because they couldn't do math and they washed out of engineering college, but because they want to do that. That's what they want. Their love is words and, and, and journalism or whatever and not mathematics. But if they do have a, a, you know, a love of, of creation through engineering or architecture or whatever it is, the math doesn't stop them. That's the dream. And that you have a much richer experience of the world if you understand mathematics. It's like a, it's like a person that doesn't know how to read. They don't know what they're missing. Right? People that can't do math, you don't know what you're missing either. Because it just opens up horizons. Anyway, share the link. It's down there. Use the other links to their best advantage. If you've watched this part, we're past 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Uh, and the next videos will be shorter and they will be uh, closer together, right? It's been a long time since I made a video, so I've been going on for quite a while. Anyway, thanks for all your support. And uh, check out Crouton Ramon's House of Math and the fully fantastic funding Fandango. And uh, Liberty people, don't lose heart. We, we, in four years, we will put up another candidate and in the meantime, you educate, you educate, you educate, educate on the Fed, educate on juries, educate, on, I mean, right, just educate, educate on hemp, educate on the fact that hemp and, and cannabis cures cancer, who right there, that's, that'll be huge, right, educate on GMOs, educate on vaccinations, educate on, right, I mean, fluoride, bad, fluoride, halogens, bad in the water, mercury, bad in your mouth, bad in your body, bad in injections, right, and just educate, educate, educate. And there's a huge difference between educate and indoctrinate Christians, right? Educate, educate, educate. All right. See you soon.